Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Independent under the main headline of Gareth Bale Brilliance Propels Wales into World Cup. Playoff Final. Summary of Headline Article. Such is the myth of his indifference that it has been repeatedly suggested Bale might retire when his contract expires in the summer if Wales fail to reach the World Cup. Because when Bale dons a Wales shirt, he seems to transform into that younger, fun-loving version of himself that could illuminate any stage. The cramp set in. Angst ensued and even Bale became a passenger. Left to pray his efforts wouldn't be spurned. Davies cleared off the goal line in stoppage time as another shot squirmed through sets of legs and left Hennessy's vision obscured. The player so often accused of not giving enough, running himself into the ground as he raised Wales above it again. From the sun under the main headline of Euro Kings Italy to miss second World Cup in row as minnows. Strike late. Summary of headline article. European champions Italy will miss their second World Cup in a row after being stunned by minnows. North Macedonia. The four-time world choms crashed out in injury time when Alexander Trykovsky beat Gianluigi. Donnarumma with a superb long-range winner. 5. The world's 65th ranked team North Macedonia show what the huge upset means credit. Getty 5 Alessandro Bastoni and company can't believe it is North Macedonia reach the World Cup finals. Credit. Reuters would you believe it? But the veteran was helpless as Trykovsky left the whole of Italy in shock. Now Macedonia are dreaming of their first World Cup after only being formed in 1991. From Sky Sports under the main headline of Emma Raducanu. British number one defeated by Katerina Siniakova at the Miami Open in second round. Summary of headline article. Emma Raducanu. British number one defeated by Katerina Siniakova at the Miami Open in second round. Emma Raducanu was knocked out in three sets in the second round at the Miami Open. Emma Raducanu was beaten by Katerina. Siniakova 3, 6, 6, 4, 7, 5 in the second round of the Miami Open. The British number one had received a bye in the first round and attacked the early stages of her debut match in Miami well. She took the first set while Siniakova seemed to be struggling with the heat and had needed to call the trainer after only five games. The Czech athlete rallied from 1-3 to three down to take the second though and gave Radikanu plenty to ponder. But, with the finish line in sight, Radikanu was broken and she then lost the momentum completely from 5-5. Five to five. From BBC under the main headline of Leach and Mahmood Rescue England with Bat. Summary of headline article. Mahmood and Leach batted together for 36.2 overs third test. St. George's. Granada. Day 1. England 204 Mahmood 49. Leach 41. Seals 3-40. Mayers 2-13 West Indies yet to bat scorecard Jack Leach and Saqib Mahmood were England's unlikely. Saviors after the tourists' top order collapsed on day one of the decisive third test against West Indies. Having been asked to bat first on a lively pitch, England crumbled to 114-9 before Leach and Mahmood shared a crucial last-wicket partnership of 90. In Granada, all three wickets fell with the score on 53. BBC cricket correspondent Jonathan Agnew. This has been a lesson for England about how soft the ball goes once it's old. They have to emulate the way the West Indies bowled with the new ball in the morning. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Barcelona draw up transfer proposal for Kylian Mbappe. 
after Spotify boost summary of headline article. Barcelona have thrown a spanner into the works at Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain after registering their interest in Kylie and Mbappé. Who could sign for free this summer transfer window Barcelona have drawn up their own proposal to prize Kylie and Mbappé away from Paris Saint-Germain in the summer after receiving a significant financial boost from Spotify. Real Madrid have been widely touted as his next destination. Los Blancos tried to sign Mbappé last year while the striker has admitted that he dreams of playing at the Santiago Bernabeu. But it appears Barcelona have steamed in to try and snap Mbappé up under Real's noses. Should Mbappé sign for Real Madrid or Barcelona? From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Massive Fire Breaks Out at Stadium of NFL Side Denver. Broncos. Summary of headline article. Black smoke was seen from miles away after a fire broke out at the home of the Denver Broncos on Thursday. There were very alarming scenes on Thursday as a huge fire broke out at the home of NFL side Denver. Broncos. After releasing images of the fire, the DFD tweeted. Hashtag Denver Fire Department crews are extinguishing a fire at Mile High Stadium. 1701 Bryant. Fire now under control at Mile High Stadium. The ground was completed in 2001. Having replaced the Broncos' old Mile High Stadium which was half a century old by the time it was deconstructed. From Metro under the main headline of Arsenal star Ben White responds to Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher criticism. Summary of headline article. Arsenal beat a host of domestic and European rivals to White's signature when they signed him in a £50 million deal from Brighton last summer. Much was expected of the centre-back when he arrived at the Emirates but he endured a debut to Forget in the season opening 2-0 defeat to Premier League newcomers Brentford. Following Arsenal's defeat in West London, both Neville and Carragher suggested Premier League teams would see White as a potential weakness in the Arsenal team and could look to target the 24-year-old over the course of the season. White is currently with Gareth Southgate's England squad. Picture. Getty. It is not a nice feeling. It is not very good. The 24-year-old has helped Arsenal climb up the Premier League table. Picture. Getty. But I took it game by game. Playing as well as I can for Arsenal. From Mail Online under the main headline of Manchester United under pressure to make a decision on their new boss. Summary of headline article. Manchester United are under pressure to make a decision over their new manager with leading candidates Eric Ten Hag and Mauricio Pochettino attracting interest from other clubs. Ten Hag and Pochettino are widely expected to leave their current clubs this summer regardless of whether they land the United job. Pochettino has been linked with Real Madrid and it's understood that an approach from the Spanish club may be imminent. Sevilla coach boss Julen Lopetegui is believed to be another name on United's shortlist along with Spain boss Luis Enrique. Although Fernandez is under contract until 2025, United are keen to secure his future with a number of players set to leave Old Trafford this summer. From Sky Sports under the main headline of Devon Booker drops 49 for Suns in new season high as Phoenix Seals top seed in Western Conference on Chris Paul's return to action. Summary of headline article. Devon Booker drops 49 for Suns in new season high as Phoenix Seals top seed in Western Conference. On Chris Paul's return to action enjoy our interactive NBA roundup which allows you to click on reports and highlights in the order you want to see them. From BBC under the main headline of Russell and Hamilton, treated as equals. Summary of headline article.
Last updated on. From the section Formula One George Russell was announced as Lewis Hamilton's. Mercedes teammate for 2022 in September last year George Russell said he and Lewis Hamilton receive equal treatment at Mercedes and is adamant there will be no team orders should he outqualify the seven-time world champion. Hamilton is Formula One's most successful driver but Russell is confident his status does not mean he will receive preferential treatment in races. There are no team orders. We have equal treatment totally and they, Mercedes, trust us to go out there and race fairly. Russell praised the mutual respect between himself and Hamilton as he looks to follow in the 37-year-old's footsteps and ultimately win world championships. Red Bull's world champion Max Verstappen and teammate Sergio Perez both retired from the race with Hamilton finishing third and Russell second. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.